Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to VAR 360's football news for today. In today's bulletin, we have the following noteworthy information. Here we go. Manchester United secures Manuel Ugarte for 60 million euros. Man United begins negotiations with Napoli, awaiting Sancho, Chiesa exchange. Man United's final decision on Amrabat deal. Manchester United's firm stance on Sancho at present. Barcelona can now register Danny Olmo for an unexpected reason. Marcos Alonso finds new club after not joining Manchester United. Here are the detailed contents. Here we go. Manchester United secures Manuel Ugarte for 60 million euros. Dear viewers, both journalist David Ornstein and Fabrizio Romano have just confirmed that Manuel Ugarte will join Manchester United this summer. Specifically, Fabrizio Romano confirms Manuel Ugarte to Manchester United. Here we go. The agreement has been signed between the two clubs after personal terms were agreed in July. Fixed fee of 50 million euros plus 10 million euros in add-ons for the deal. Ugarte is coming to Manchester because he only wanted to join this club. Conversely, Man UT also only wanted Ugarte. David Ornstein adds, Manuel Ugarte will fly to England today for a medical before finalizing his move to Man Ute. The deal will cost the Red Devils 50 million euros plus 10 million euros in add-ons based on performance and achievements at the new club. As mentioned earlier, after pushing Scott McTominay to Napoli, Manchester United immediately began negotiations to buy Ugarte outright as PSG desired. Man Ute previously intended to loan Ugarte with an option to buy at the end of the season. However, when Napoli entered the race and decided to offer 30 million euros, Man Ute immediately agreed. They will use this money to recruit Ugarte from PSG. Ugarte is likely to be the fifth and final signing for the Old Trafford club this summer. Previously, they successfully recruited Joshua Xerxes, Lenny Yoro, Mathis Delict, and Nusser Mazraoui. Man United begins negotiations with Napoli, awaiting Sancho. Chiesa exchange. Dayton Sancho's future remains a mystery to date. The English player returned to the Man United squad, training with the team after reconciling with manager Eric Ten Hag. However, Sancho has been completely absent from the first two Premier League matches. A source from the Manchester Evening News says that Jadon Sancho is very close to Juventus. It's likely that the English star will be loaned out again, rather than sold outright. This is because the Italian club doesn't have the financial capacity to pay the 60 million euro transfer fee that Man United is asking for. Another team in contact with Man United is Chelsea, however, the Red Devils prefer to send Sancho outside of England. Journalist Devesh Jagannath from Sport Mole further reveals that Man United officials are expected to fly to Turin today, 27-8, to negotiate with Juventus leadership about Jadon Sancho's contract. The Red Devils are very keen to offload Sancho to avoid paying a large salary for a player who isn't playing for the team. Devesh Jagannath reveals that there's a possibility of an exchange between Man United and Juventus. Accordingly, winger Federico Chiesa would join Old Trafford on loan in the opposite direction. In England, Chelsea maintains its interest in Jadon Sancho. The West London club offers Man United two options. One is a loan where they will pay all of Sancho's salary, Two is to exchange Sancho for two other Chelsea players plus cash. Man United's final decision on Amrabat deal. Throughout the summer, the Italian media has consistently reported that Amrabat, who was on loan at Old Trafford last season, very much wants to return there. The Sunday edition of Corriere dello Sport simply states that Manchester United will not meet Fiorentina's asking price, 15 million euros for this midfield. The newspaper doesn't specify whether Man United has made any bargaining efforts, but they seem quite certain that it's over. Amrabat can now rest assured of staying at La Viola. Of course, things aren't bad for Sofia. Living in Tuscany and playing Serie A football is not a punishment. Meanwhile, the Red Devils are still hoping for a new central midfielder before the summer transfer window closes. This team has played two Premier League matches and has been basically disappointing. They narrowly beat Fulham on opening day and just lost to Brighton. Man United also lost the Community Shield to Man City. 
Manchester United's firm stance on Sancho. At present, Sancho is no longer in manager Eric Ten Hag's future plans at Man United. In the Red Devils' first two Premier League matches of 2024-25, the 24-year-old player was left out of the Dutch coach's squad list. In recent days, the English press has continuously reported Man United is considering a swap deal involving Sancho for one of two Chelsea players, Ben Chilwell and Raheem Sterling. As both no longer have a secure future at Stamford Bridge and have even been demoted to train with the youth team, awaiting departure. However, BBC Sport has recently affirmed that Man United has no intention of acquiring Sterling or Chilwell's services. Instead, the Red Devils only want to sell Sancho outright, or at least loan him to another team, a mandatory buy option next summer. The Old Trafford Club hopes to receive around £40 million if they part ways with the former Borussia Dortmund star, free up the enormous £300,000 per week salary that Sancho is earning. Sancho joined Man United from Dortmund in the summer 2021 transfer window for £82 million, but in his three years with the Red Devils, the winger born in 2000 hasn't maintained high form, scoring only 11 goals. Last season, Sancho even clashed with manager Ten Hag and was sent back to Dortmund in the winter market. Barcelona can now register Dani Olmo for an unexpected reason. Dani Olmo is Barcelona's most notable signing in the summer 2024 market. The Catalan club had to spend 55 million euros, not including add-ons, to secure the services of the Euro 2024 champion. However, Barca couldn't register Dani Olmo in the squad list for the first two matches of La Liga 2023-24. The reason was that their wage bill had exceeded the limit. Despite efforts to offload players, including cases like Ilkay Gundogan or Clement Lenglet, Barca's wage bill still didn't meet regulations. When things were very difficult, the red and blue striped team surprisingly found a solution. Specifically, Centre-back Andreas Christensen recently suffered an Achilles injury. Barca has sent a report to La Liga organizers stating that the Danish player will be out for four months. According to regulations, Barca is allowed to use 80% of the 1996 born defender's salary to register another player. And so now Dani Olmo is eligible to be registered to play. It should be emphasized that this is only a temporary solution. Donny Olmo is currently only registered to play until January 25th. Now until then, Barca needs to continue efforts to reduce the wage bill and improve their financial profile. Marcos Alonso finds new club after not joining Manchester United. Defender Marcos Alonso's contract with Barca expired after the 2023-24 season ended. Recently, he has been actively seeking a new destination. And in the final days of the summer 2024 market, Marcos Alonso has settled on his next team in his career. It is Celta Vigo. According to journalist Fabrizio Romano, Marcos Alonso has reached an agreement to join this club on a free transfer. Currently, Celta Vigo is trying to complete some procedures to meet financial fair play rules before officially signing the player born in 1990. Marcos Alonso was once one of the world's top left backs. That was when he played for Chelsea from 2016 to 2022. At that time, the three-defender formation was popular, and the Spanish player was able to fully demonstrate his qualities in the left wing-back position. Last season, Celta Vigo finished 13th in La Liga. They are determined to improve their performance in the new season. After three matches played, Celta Vigo has won two, lost one, and is temporarily second in the standings. Not long ago, Marcos Alonso was on Man United's radar. With Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia injured, they were actively looking for a new left back. But this deal didn't happen. Journalist Fabrizio Romano confirms that Man United only expressed interest, but never made an offer for the 34-year-old player. Thank you for tuning into VR360. We hope you enjoyed our latest updates and insights on all things Manchester United. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest news, match analysis and exclusive content. Join our community of passionate Red Devils fans and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support helps us bring you the best coverage of our beloved team. Until next time, stay united and keep the red flag flying high.